pandemic may have halted some big projects in the world, but behind closed doors, the most amazing mega projects are now under construction in 2022, ranging from world record breaking skyscrapers to enormous dams, from shifting entire capital cities to creating artificial islands. Hey there, welcome to another episode of High Technology. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you would get updated when another mind blowing video like this comes up. Now, let's take a close look on top 14 mega projects in 2022 that are now under construction. Number 14. Moscow International Business Center With the buildings of two additional extremely tall towers, Russia's aims to develop a financial center is gaining momentum. The business area which was initially envisioned in the 1990s would house more than 300,000 people and serve as the capital's financial center. Construction first began in 1995, but as investment dwindled over the ensuing decades, several planned structures had to be postponed or shelved. The project had received $12 billion in investment as of 2014 when when it was 50% finished. In 2019, work on two well-known buildings, the Wan Tower and the Grand Tower was resumed, raising expectations for a prompt completion. The Wan Tower was initially intended to stand 400 meters tall, but subsequent design modifications increased its overall height to 445 meters, making it the tallest structure in Europe. The Grand Tower, another skyscraper a few blocks distant, is scheduled to be finished in 2022. The Moscow International Business Center will be finished in 2022. With more than half of the planned facilities are already completed and others under development. Number 13. The New Clark City Another nation preparing a fallback capital is the Philippines. In case Manila, the existing capital is rendered inoperable. Manila is situated on the edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is home to the majority of earthquakes and active volcanoes in the world. Authorities deemed the nearby Taal volcano to be highly active and several hundred thousand people would need to be evacuated in the case of a catastrophic eruption. For this reason, the Philippines is constructing New Clark City in a more convenient locale around 100 kilometers north of Manila. It will have brand new government buildings, special economic zones, and residences for up to 1.2 million people. It will be larger than Manhattan. The city will be built out in five stages over the course of 30 years, with the first phase expected to be finished in 2020. Number 12 New York's new airport terminal. The biggest airport in New York, which already has the second busiest city airport system in the world, is soon to get even better. The JFK Airport will undergo a $9.5 billion renovation beginning in 2022, marking the greatest private investment in such a project to date. The JFK Airport is expected to become one of the world's most popular airport destinations as a result of the expansions. The present Terminal 1, the 59-year-old Terminal 2, and the already demolished Terminal 3 will be replaced by the new Terminal 1. Larger check-ins, contemporary design, and exhibits showcasing well-known New York sites are a few of the new terminal's major improvements. The first of the new Terminal 1's 23 new gates will open for business in 2026, but construction will continue throughout the decade. Number 11. The World's Biggest Soccer Stadium In recent years, the Chinese Super League has become well-known in the football community. They have signed international talents like Carlos Tevez, Oscar, and the Hull to play in China and have offered them enormous salaries. The Evergrande Real Estate Group, which owns more than 1,300 properties in 280 Chinese cities, took the lead in injecting money into the league. In 2020, the firm began construction on the largest football stadium in the world after adding several notable football players to the League. The Guangzhou Evergrande football stadium would have more seating than 100,000 surpassing Camp Nou in Barcelona. The stadium's construction was expected to be finished by the end of 2022, but Evergrande Group's financial woes forced it to postpone all of its mega project. After missing a major repayment date in December of last year, the crisis at Evergrande grew worse. It has almost $300 billion in total liabilities, making it the most indebted firm in the world right now. Chinese officials took over management of the stadium project near the end of last year when the primary developers struggled to make payments. A state-owned investment body will take over the project if no buyers can be found. But like many of Evergrande's unfinished projects, they may decide to stop work completely. Number 10. 
Vietnam's new airport. Ho Chi Minh is the largest urban area in Vietnam, home to almost 9 million people. Despite only having enough for 25 million passengers, their main airport served more than 35 million travelers in 2019. The bottleneck was lifted during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, Vietnam is going ahead with a permanent solution. In January 2021, the government gave its approval for the new Long Tan International Airport to be built. The airport, which is 40 kilometers east of Ho Chi Minh City, will be built in three phases and eventually accommodate 100 million passengers annually. One of the highest percentages of mine contamination in the world is found in Vietnam, where the Vietnam War left an estimated 18% of the country contaminated. Mine detection and clearance work was ultimately finished by 2021, and this month construction on the project may start. The project's initial phase will be finished six months earlier than anticipated, allowing the airport to accommodate 25 million passengers annually. To increase capacity to 50 million people, the airport Airports Corporation of Vietnam will build the second runway and extend the passenger terminal in the second phase. The project will cost $16 billion to complete its three phases, making it the most expensive infrastructure undertaking in Vietnam's history. Number 9 the Padma Bridge. The majority of Bangladesh's territory is located less than 5 meters above sea level and the country has hundreds of rivers. The nation is struggling with severe flooding issues and the effects of climate change. Building new infrastructure has become very difficult and expensive as a result of these problems. Bangladesh's infrastructure is hence inadequate, which is preventing it from growing economically. The Padma Bridge mega project, which will link the nation's capital Dhaka with the south is much more significant. The World Bank and other donors initially provided the $3 billion in funding. The World Bank withdrew from the project in response to charges of corruption against Bangladeshi government officials, so they revoked their $1.2 billion credit. Other donors soon came on board, and Bangladesh made the decision to fund the project itself even after the corruption allegations were dropped in a Canadian court. The two-level multi-purpose bridges construction got underway in 2014, while the bottom level will contain a single-track railroad. The upper level carries a four-lane highway. The bridge was was built on 42 pillars that extend into water up to 122 meters deep. By June 2022, the 6.1-kilometer long bridge will be accessible to the general public. One of the longest river crossings in the world, it is also the longest bridge in Bangladesh. The bridge will eventually provide service to 75,000 cars daily, greatly lowering travel time and vehicle operating expenses. Bangladesh's economy would also benefit further from it, as the country's GDP is anticipated to rise up by 2%. Number 8. Biotin Dam China's expanding population also brings with it new problems similar to those in Egypt. Meeting the 1.4 billion people's increasing energy needs is one of the issues. China is constructing some of the largest hydropower dams in light of this. China will complete the construction of the second largest hydroelectric dam in the world in 2022, following in the footsteps of the Three Gorges Dam. The Hoover Dam in the United States could produce 160,000 megawatts of electricity, whereas the Beihatan Dam can produce approximately 8 times times as much electricity. In April 2021, the $34 billion project's partial operations commenced. By June, two of its 16 turbines were producing energy, and by July 2022, it is anticipated to be completely operational. Number 7. Denmark's Energy Islands In 1991, Denmark built the first offshore wind farm in history. With the creation of an artificial energy island, they will now advance offshore energy production. The nation is now building a centralized power station surrounded by windmills in the middle of the North Sea to meet its sustainable energy requirements. Geological surveys are conducted to confirm that the sea floor is suitable for laying foundations before construction can begin. This includes mapping the geological layers down to a depth of 100 meters and sampling the seabed. 4 million tons of earth will need to be transported to the North Sea in order to construct the artificial island. Up to three times the scale of the Statue of Liberty, some of the turbines will be enormous. According to the estimates, the facility will create 50% more energy than is required for the Danish population. Hence, the excess energy will be sold to nearby nations. The $34 billion project is the biggest building undertaking in Danish history. Denmark will attempt to emulate its successes in the Baltic Sea. 
Number 6. Jeddah Economic City Saudi Arabia published Saudi Vision 2030 and 2016 in an effort to lessen its reliance on oil and diversify its economy towards investment and tourism. A crucial component of that vision is the $20 billion Jeddah Economic City, whose development is progressing steadily. The three areas of the city are now being worked on as all road and landscaping work is almost finished. The world's tallest tower is slated to be built in Jeddah Economic City. There are more than 200 towers planned for the city, even though the Jeddah Tower's future is still uncertain. The largest infrastructure project in Saudi Arabia will soon start to produce new towers once the foundational infrastructure is finished. Number 5. The Merdeka Tower Without featuring the tallest skyscraper now under development, a movie highlighting the largest mega projects of 2022 would fall short. The Merdeka Tower in Malaysia has been under construction since 2014 and will be finished this year. The Merdeka Tower's completion is notable since it might be the last of its kind. Due to the epidemic, other anticipated mega tall skyscrapers such as the Jeddah Tower and the Dubai Creek Tower have experienced delays and it is yet unknown what will become of them. There are no projects planned in the United States that would even approach the size of the Merdeka Tower, which has been banned in China for new skyscrapers over 500 meters. The project has advanced and will be finished in 2022 is a result that makes it all the more spectacular. The sixth super tall skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur, the Merdeka Tower has a breathtaking height of 679 meters, making it one of the most notable skylines in the entire globe. Number 4. The Incheon International Airport being the busiest airport in the world and the largest in South Korea, Seoul's airport consistently receives the top rankings for service quality, and its average passenger processing times are among the quickest in the globe. The two terminals at the airport can accommodate more than 70 million passengers, but there are currently plans in place to expand it into one of the largest aviation hubs in the world. The fourth runway at the airport as well as the expansion of Terminal 2 are part of the new phase of construction that started in 2017. When both terminals are finished, they will be able to handle 50 million people each, and the extra runway will allow Incheon International to handle more than 100 planes each hour. Number 3 Lusail City. There have been numerous scandals surrounding the Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup. Human rights violations, allegations of corruption, and terrible working conditions have all been the subject of contentious discussion. Concerns were raised about Qatar's ability to hold such a large event in the absence of adequate infrastructure. In spite of all the worries, Qatar continued with its planning, and one of its largest mega projects is now almost finished. The construction of Lusail City, which will be finished this year at an estimated cost of $45 billion, is situated 20 kilometers from Doha's capital. 22 hotels, 4 brand new towers, and other entertainment venues will be located there for traveling football fans. The majority of the city's construction is finished, including the renowned 80,000-seat stadium that will play host to the championship event's final on December 18. 300,000 people will live in Lusail City after the World Cup, and its brand new stadium will be transformed into a neighborhood. Number 2 Egypt's new capital. Egypt's future capital will emerge from a desert 50 kilometers to the east of Cairo in 2022. There are more than 20 million people living in the historic capital of Cairo, which has reached the limit of its infrastructure. The population is expected to double by 2050, adding to the city's already crowded, filthy, and congested conditions. The new capital will separate from Cairo's urban sprawl and provide a new home for 6 million people in addition to a new location for the government. The iconic tower, Africa's highest skyscraper as well as government buildings and green spaces twice the size of New York Central Park will be included in the project's initial phase. The majority of the government offices have already begun moving into the new capital, which is still nameless. It is one of the most expensive mega projects being built in 2022 with a $40 billion budget. Number 1. Brenner Base Tunnel Another tunnel over the Alps will mimic the success of Switzerland's Gotthard Base Tunnel, which opened in 2016 and enabled Switzerland to transfer cargo quickly across Europe. The second longest railroad tunnel in the world, the 55-kilometer Brenner Base Tunnel, will link Italy and Austria. The European Union, which also contributes half of the project's expected expenses, designated it a high-priority initiative. 2014 was the start of the site's excavation activities. Although 2025 was the target completion date, a three-year delay was first experienced during the tunneling due to technical issues. A billion-dollar contract with one of the project's principal developers was terminated in 2020, which caused the project to experience yet another setback. 
Construction tenders had to be reissued as a result, which added four years to the delay. The Brenner Base Tunnel will cost about $9 billion and is anticipated to be completely operational by 2032. By 2022, the excavation work on the tunnel's Italian side will have been finished and it will now move closer to the Austrian border. When the tunnel is finished, travel times will drop from 80 to 25 minutes. By moving it to an underground railway line, it will lessen the amount of heavy load traffic on the highways. Which project clicked on you? What project are you most excited about? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below. That would be a wrap for today's video. We hope this has been amusing to you. If you enjoyed watching, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button together with the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. This has been high technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. We'll see you on the next one.